so by the experiments mendel hypothesized that so every characteristics are carried as traits so every character is expressed by two factors so there are two factors for each character so how these characters these traits are passed from one generation to another generation so he hypothesized that in his experiments the traits are being passed through the seeds so they are carried by the seeds from one generation to another generation so for that he has conducted experiments on pea plants to see the number of generations so for his experiments he has selected the pea plants with a contrast character that the character that he has selected is that seed color certain seeds are green certain seeds are yellow and he has taken two pure breeds pure breeds he has taken for the experiments so that is for the starting of the experiment he has chosen two pure breeds with contrast characters y stands for yellow seeds and small y stands for green seeds now let us see the results in each generation how the seeds and their colors have come mendel has selected one yellow color seed one green color seed so he has taken these under cross pollination so that is the first generation progeny so in the first generation progeny whatever the seeds that are gained are produced all are of yellow color it does not mean that the green color is missing it is there still inside the traits inside the characters but it is a recessive character yellow color is the dominant character in this generation so that is called as f1 and the next generation f2 again these are self pollinated the set of all the yellow color seeds are self pollinated so due to this self pollination the seeds obtained are few are green and few are red sorry few are yellow so among this 75% are yellow in color and 25% of the seeds are green in color so now again if these seeds are self pollinated for the third generation f3 so in this a set of seeds are taken a set of seeds of yellow breed yellow color are taken they have given that yellow the seeds that are obtained all are yellow in color and from the set of seeds that have both the yellow and green so out of that 75% yellow and 25% green they were obtained and the third the green seeds are used in that set all green color pea plants are obtained are developed now let us see the assumptions of this experiment Cut. so mendel he has conducted experiments and drawn certain results so based on the results and observations he made certain assumptions so in that the first one assumption number 1 is that every trait or property is represented by two factors so behind a trait or a property there are always two factors so here when he selected some characteristic contrast characters like yellow color peas or green color peas so the yellow color is the contrast character so for that yellow color contrast character how many factors will be there two factors and he has selected the pure breeds for yellow and green pure breed so what is a pure breed not a mixed result say for example i told you one yellow color so the yellow color is having how many factors behind that two factors both the factors or big y represents yellow both the factors are representing yellow so this is called as a pure breed not a mixed result of course it is an yellow seed sometimes one 
factor may be big Y that is for yellow, the other factor can be small Y that is for the green. Even then, if the capital Y, if it is a dominant factor, then the seed will be yellow. Even then, it has a green, a factor representing green. Because that is recessive, it is not shown out. Only the dominant characters are expressed out. But here, he has selected the pure breed, which is having both the factors of yellow. And in the same way, pure breed greens he has taken, green peas. So let us see the assumption two. In the assumption two, he, uh, his assumption is that during reproduction process, characters are passed from the parent to the next generation in a progeny. So when passing the character, for a character, there are two factors needed. So these factors, they come from one from one parent, father and mother. For a character, from father one factor, from mother one factor, both the factors will come. But only one character is represented. That means which factor is dominant, that character is expressed out, the other one will be the recessive. So during reproduction from the parents, from each parent, one factor is obtained. Assumption 3. One of the factors will dominate the other. One factor will dominate the other. Say, for example, yellow color seed, yellow pea. Here, the color of the pea is yellow. But for that character, behind the character in the two factors, one is big Y representing yellow color. The other one is small y representing green. But even then, no green color is seen here because the green color factor is dominated by the yellow factor. So in this way, every uh, trait, any trait, one factor will dominate the other. That is the assumption three. Let us see what is phenotype. So we have seen in the experiment in the first generation where yellow seeds were sown. From that yellow seeds, we got some plants, some pea plants uh, which produce yellow color we got and some pea plants which produce green color peas were obtained. So it was observed in the first generation that 75% of the seed sown, the yellow seed sown out of that 75% of yellow pea seed plants yellow color pea producing plants are obtained and 25 percent of green pea giving plants were obtained. So this 25 percent we could see that externally green peas are produced by these plants in 25 percent. So this is called as phenotype externally visible characters that is phenotype. So here, these are yellow pea seed plants, 75%. But we are not sure these are pure breed. That means in the yellow color pea producing plant, we cannot assure that each and every factor is uh, having, each and every character is having both the factors representing yellow. Now, let us see the phenotypic ratio in this generation. Phenotypic ratio. So how do we find the phenotypic ratio? So we find the phenotypic ratio, 75% of the LOP producing plants, 75. By the 25% of the green pea giving plant, 25. 3 by 1, 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 is the phenotypic ratio. Now let us see what is a genotype. That means genetically how the factors are. So that shows the genotypic ratio. Let us see.